Hello. Welcome to a review of the Final Fantasy Trading Arts Kai Mini figure, uh, number one, Cloud Strife from Final Fantasy VII. Um, okay, well, this is, as you can see, I picked this up for £18 from Forbidden Planet. I imagine you can get it at other places as well. Um, we has different multiple faces and such. We'll look at that in a minute when I pull it out. There is Cloud on the side there, holding his buster sword. Uh, and the other side is purely black. Uh, it just says where it is. On the back, we have... Um, that's Yuna, and I'm not sure who that is. Uh, oh, okay, that's Squall. Yeah, okay, he looks different than what I thought he would. Um, but yeah, I mean, as, as you can tell, this is a series of different things. Uh, there he is in his bike with massive, massive hair and a massive head. Um, but yeah, this is a series that I did see other ones, though this is the only one I bought. Uh, as you can see, Cloud sing phrases such as this, uh, you know, or, or, or this. Probably quoting Linkin Park lyrics there uh, because no one understands him. Though, weirdly, I've just noticed that all three of his faces have eyes, basically. But one of these faces has literally nothing, which is kind of creepy. Uh, but, you know, I'm sure it'll make more sense. And I think there are things in the background as well. There's something you can put behind his bike. The um, road signs, see? I'm sure they say something. Uh, this camera can't pick it up very well. So, okay, I will jump back in a second to the actual unboxed figure. Okay, well, it's uh, open now. So, as you can see, we have Cloud. Uh, I'll look at him in a second. Uh, a sort of determined looking face. A face with his eyes closed, kind of meditating. And this really, really creepy uh, eyeless face. Which I'm assuming is meant for the bike where he just kind of like stares down and such. There's his buster sword. There's also a hand that comes with it. Now the hand wasn't on this and I opened it. I had to pull off the blade here from the handle. And after a bit of a squeeze managed to get his hand onto this and then put this back up there. And then there is the torso for the bike. Um, so yeah. Also, there are these parts. Um, that's the base there, that big weird thing. They're what uh, holds Cloud up on different sizes and such. There's a sign for um, Healing Lodge, uh, Midgar City, Calm and Chocobo Farm, which is really cool. Uh, you also get these things. Um, Things he shouts out, which I thought was pretty cool because uh, I didn't realise that you could get them. There are small things as well. I may open them in a bit because I'll need to put him on the stand of some sort. Um, but yeah, before now, if I exert a bit of pressure on his hand here, his hands come off, as you can see, which is a good thing, not a bad thing. Hmm. I may need two hands for this. Thus, I will cut... And I'll be back. And here he is, holding his buster sword. Now the reason I hold him up is because he's very top heavy, as you'd imagine. Uh, and he needs to lean on something. Placed him on uh, my tablet so he can make out his sword and everything better. Now let's look at Cloud. His hair is incredibly detailed. At least I think so anyway. Uh, very reminiscent of Advent Children's kind of hair modelling. Not quite up to that standard, I know. His torso has, for some reason, is not a fan of focus. Uh, but he certainly has the belt there and his uh, left arm with the whole thingy over it. Uh, yeah, his, his trousers are like they are in, in a chibiosed form. And his buster sword's really cool, really detailed. Uh, and his face, of course. Now I'm going to attempt to change his face, so prepare. 
Okay, I'm back. I've changed his face and I've also put him on the other torso piece, which is him on the uh, bike. I can't remember the bike's name. I want to say Cerberus. I don't think it was Mjolnir, maybe? Mjolnir? I don't know. Leave a uh, response in the comment section if you know. So here we got like his clothes trailing behind him there, which is pretty cool. His torso again is very very detailed. His bike is detailed. That's, uh, his blades pop out somewhere there. And um, he does look a bit weird. His his head is massive, and if he was actually driving, he'd kind of be like, oh. Um, and also he shouldn't be driving with his eyes closed. But you know, maybe he's just that deep of a person. He doesn't need to see to drive. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a derpy face, actually, the the way his mouth looks, it's kind of like, hmm. Anyway, um, okay, now on to the bases, so prepare for another jump cut and a body swap. Okay, and here it is in its final form. Uh, I, there is a base that comes with it, and I've managed to, after a while, get the, um, stand into his back. So one thing with, um, I want to say it's an android, but I don't think it is an android, but things like these is that you do get the trouble of having to pop the joints into uh, things, and it takes a while. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty good. I've put the uh, sign behind him, so you can also put the um, the Japanese quotation marks, but I'm not really sure what they say um, and such. But yeah, he's a really, really nice sculpted figure. Um, I think well worth the price. I mean, I can imagine if you look in certain places, it's worth quite a lot more than uh, £18. And also, well, the only other, other figure that I can that I have that's similar is my Noel Vermillion from Blazblue, an android that I got for free from HMV. Uh, you can see the detailing's pretty similar. Uh, Noel apparently is worth quite a lot on eBay, uh, so I'm going to keep her for quite a while. I think that's how her heart goes on. Um, but yeah, I mean, a really cool one. I'll probably maybe pick up another one. I did notice that with um, the Squall one, you got, rather than another torso on something, you got sort of small creatures. There was the small blue alien and I want to say it's a cactua, but maybe it wasn't. Maybe that was an with another one. Yeah, there's quite a few to collect. Um, if you're a fan of Final Fantasy VII and, you know, everyone knows who Cloud is, then I do highly suggest getting this. I'd give it a 9 out of 10. It's The only reason I wouldn't give her a 10 is it's a slight shame that you are left with a box that looks like this, which basically has the leftover torso part that you didn't use. And the three heads. I do wish if they'd given you an extra hair piece that you could have put another head on the uh, on the bike there so that you'd essentially have two figures in one. But then I don't know. Um, but yeah, well, thank you for watching and subscribe if you'd like for more figure reviews. I tend to do them fairly regularly. Until next time, thank you for watching. Goodbye.